Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Okay, so mozzarella cheese is usually made by taking like a raw milk, running it through like a curdling process, heating it up, stretching it, pooling it, and putting it back together. And it's just essentially like a protein with fats. So I wanted to make a vegan mozzarella cheese that was just as simple. And the thing is, is you really cannot take a plant-based milk, run it through the same process, and make a mozzarella cheese. So why is most vegan mozzarella cheeses flavored with so many different things to create that flavor when really you should just be able to take a good plant-based milk and base it off of that. Now, a lot of plant-based cheeses are based off of nuts, cashews, things like that, really, so you're just eating a block of solid cashew. Now, pea protein milk has just exploded recently in the plant-based milk world. There's a good reason for it. It's because it tastes really good. Now, this one particularly is Ripple uh, pea milk. It's a pea protein milk. I recently used it for my ice cream, if you didn't see my ice cream video, but that made an awesome ice cream, and I thought, could Ripple make a really good vegan mozzarella cheese? Now, doing the nutrition facts side by side, it would take a heck of a lot of Ripple to make a solid block of mozzarella cheese. I would need about one of these containers plus some. So we're not gonna be able to just do just straight Ripple. We're gonna need some things to kind of turn this into a solid block. This is all just in my head. It's just a, just a dream. So let's get moving. Let's jump into this one real quick. So a few of these ingredients are pretty easy to find. I will say that the Ripple is just easy to find. I found this at my grocery store. Now you don't necessarily have to use Ripple, just find a pea protein based milk. Uh, the other three products that I have here are lactic acid. Lactic acid is gonna give the milk a pinch of sourness that happens when you make a mozzarella cheese. Uh, we're also going to use a tapioca flour. And the last thing that we're gonna do is kappa carrageenan. Now kappa carrageenan comes from a seaweed. Kappa carrageenan has a very, very good gelification quality to it. I want this to be like the balls of mozzarella that you would cut up with a tomato and make a caprese salad or something. So all in all, we're only looking for about two cups of ripple of the pea protein milk, but we're actually gonna start off with around four cups and we're gonna kinda heat it down. We're gonna see if we can actually reduce this to kinda make the milk mixture just quite a bit thicker. So we're almost using this entire bottle. Now the reason why I decided to do it this way was because the amount of protein, the amount of fat, um, a lot of the stuff that's in Ripple is very similar to real milk. So I figured that with real milk, you actually have to separate the proteins in ways using a coagulant. We're not doing that here. and. I don't wanna, I, there's no way for me to pour off the excess liquid, so I'm gonna try to see if we can evaporate it out. So we're gonna set this to a low heat, and we're gonna bring this up, constantly stirring. I'm gonna go for about a half an hour and then just see how much liquid we have remaining. I'm assuming that we're gonna be able to evaporate off at least a cup of liquid. If we can get to between three and two cups, we'll be able to move on to the next step. And I'm also gonna be stirring this pretty continuously, maybe not the entire half an hour. Uh, I'll definitely give myself some breaks, but I don't really want this to just sit. I don't know if pea protein milk develops a skin, if it, I don't want it to burn on the bottom. Hey gang, I wanna tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people. You get to explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and really just get lost in your creativity. Skillshare offers creative classes that are designed for real life and all of the circumstances that come with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired, express your creativity, or really just introduce you to a community of millions. If you're anxious, you could settle your mind and just explore the classes that they have to offer. You might find something new and really interesting, or just to break, break your routine, split the day up with some creativity. It really helps the day go by along quicker. Now at this point, I've already taken a bunch of classes on Skillshare, and I have to say that everything that I've done has been really awesome. Now I recently started taking this class, Design Great Stuff, How to Make Merch with Draplin. This is a class with Aaron Draplin, who has been designing some of the best merch in the business. Business. He's now sharing his tips, tricks, and secrets that he's gathered over the years to making really great stuff. I got some new merch in my store, so I thought it'd be pretty fun to take this class. So far, it's been really spot on awesome. So make sure you click that link in the description below because the first 1,000 of you will get a two month free trial to a premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Okay, so I let this guy cook for about a half an hour. I did walk away for a little bit, and when I walked away and came back, it did end up developing a skin. So that is good to know that pea milk will develop a skin. It's looking really good. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. So realistically, we wanted between two and three cups of milk, and we ended up with about two and a half cups of milk. So this is really nice. 
So any blender at this point will work just fine. We're just gonna pour the mixture into a blender and then let's just get the blend started. We're just gonna get it spinning on a low spin. I'm gonna use about a half of a teaspoon of lactic acid, four tablespoons of tapioca starch, a half of a teaspoon of salt, and about one and a half tablespoons of kappa carrageenan. We're gonna put this on high for just a moment which should be enough to really thicken this mixture up. We're gonna spoon this really quickly into some small jars. And this is gonna start solidifying pretty quick. So I just wanna get this in here as quick as possible. Set these guys in the fridge for just maybe an hour or two. They should firm up really nice. And I'm also gonna try just another real quick trick here with just with some like salted ice water. And we're just gonna kind of scoop out some of this firmed up cheese here. There's still just a little bit more. You really only have a few minutes of time to work with this stuff because it just firms up so quickly. Yeah, these are kind of falling apart, but we'll see how they go. We'll see how they work. Let's let these guys solidify up and we'll come back in about a half hour to an hour or so. Okay, so I just prepared some tomatoes and basil so that way we could do like a caprese kind of salad. Now I do wanna see how well these things melt, you know, if they have like a good melting point to them. Now the fresh stuff that I put in the water, some of it was, it stayed, some of it stayed pretty good, but it definitely didn't ball up like a real mozzarella cheese would. So I'd say that part is a fail. Now I will say these are melting pretty well. It is kind of getting, it is blackening up a bit, but there is a definite melt to it. <laughs> so there's no cheese pool. Mm, it did melt. Okay, I mean, look at that slice of fresh, fresh vegan mozzarella made with just a few ingredients. I mean, this stuff is out of this world. Mm. As you saw, it will melt. It really tastes like mozzarella cheese. I believe you throw this on a pizza or something, you're probably gonna end up with a really delicious experience. Baby, do you wanna try? Now, I just did like a, just a fake caprice, you know, just, um, I know you're excited. You love this stuff. A Little bit of oil. Oh, you're just jumping right in. Do it, do it, have it. You're that excited. <laughs> mm. That's awesome. Does it taste like real mozzarella? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's amazing. It really does. That's so good. I've never had a vegan cheese that actually tasted good. That tastes like real mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Really good. Thank you, baby. I'm excited because this is pea mozzarella and it is gonna be the next thing. Pea-based mozzarella. I mean, ah, I just can't, I just can't get over it. So yeah, that's what I got.